Water scarcity is a real problem all over the world, and especially here in India. If we are not addressing these issues very soon, we will have to pay a very heavy price for it. Water as it is is getting scarcer, but this year the rainfall has been less in Gujarat. That water scarcity will make sweet water lesser. People will have to drill deeper and get water from lower ground strata, which will have high fluoride in it. It could have high arsenic in it. It could have high iron in it. And all these things are toxic to human body. So at GE, through We Share the Power initiative, we have decided to give back to Mother Earth what we have been given by her. And so came this project of rainwater harvesting in Don Bosco Vadodara. The WSTP team in India were looking out for a local community project where we could invest our savings. So that is a time uh, where I had a meeting with Father Tony of Don Bosco School and he happened to discuss with me his concept about the green school. Having been at Don Bosco School since the last 25 years, one of the greatest concerns that we have in education is to make students aware of the great environment crisis that we are having in our world. For me, conserving water was only putting your taps off, checking whether it's not leaking, that it's not continuously flowing. I was not knowing about rainwater harvesting until I actually discovered it during the implementation of this project in the school. Your campus receives a lot of rainwater. We are actually taking this rainwater and pushing it 120 feet below the ground level. If there is too much of rainfall, all the chambers cannot drink that water. Then we bring it into a place which is a filter. It passes through four chambers of filter which are filled with sand and gravel. The water that contains some silt, some dead leaves, it comes into the first compartment, then it gets filtered through sand and gravel. With that, you must be harvesting more than 90 to 95 percent of your available water. We are also talking about disseminating the importance of water conservation with the other members of society um, through events in school, through the school uh, children. So then we are giving this, we are spreading the message to the kids and the kids have this power to spread after all this message into their family, into the neighborhood, etc. Rainwater harvesting, the term sounds very heavy, but it's actually a very simple process. The other uh, units around us can also very easily adapt this process, this project into their local communities.